Okay, so again, if you take the derivative uh, at the le of the left-hand side function, c e to the plus alpha x, and the derivative of the right-hand side function, which in this case is this, um, and you set them equal to each other, so the derivative of, of an exponential is just that exponential right back, plus the derivative of the argument alpha, and we're evaluating this at x equals zero. And similarly, the derivative of sine is cosine, and you take the derivative of the argument, you get the k, and the derivative of cosine is minus sine. Okay, and so again, if you look at this, this basically gives you this, uh, from this equation we get this relationship between c and a, alpha c is equal to k times a. Now, we can do the same thing at x equals to l, okay, so at x equals to l, again, we're looking at the, um, the left and right hand sides of that boundary, that boundary is now at x equals to l, and here we can't say anything more than just to say that a sine kl plus b cosine kl is equal to f e to the minus alpha l and that ka cosine kl minus kb sine kl is equal to minus alpha f e to the minus alpha l and again these come from this is now the left hand side of that uh, boundary this is the right hand side of that boundary okay this is the left hand side this is the right hand side and so now we can um, that's where these equations come from. The top one is just from equating those uh, at L and the bottom one is take, taking the derivative of them and equating them at L. Okay, so now we have these four, one, two, three, four uh, uh, relationships between the four different, um, the four different um, uh, integration constants, A, B, C, and F, and uh, it's not as easy to solve for these four as it was just to, to get the integration constants in the finite square well, but nevertheless it can be done with some algebraic um, sort of manipulation and tricks. Okay, So I'm not going to go over uh, this in detail because it takes a while, but you can show by basically uh, substituting into these equations, substituting our, our expressions for k and alpha, okay, which we have here, k and alpha, and then doing some algebraic, algebraic manipulation, okay, so for example, uh, we have that a is equal to alpha um, uh, c over k that we just uh, uh, solved for a, and b is equal to c, and this comes from, this comes from the first two, one and two, okay, then um, we can rewrite 3 basically by making the substitution for a and b we can rewrite uh, equation 3 this way and equation 4 this way okay now what we notice is that if we divide uh, equation 4 here this rewritten equation 4 by minus alpha okay if we divided the right hand side by minus alpha then the right hand side of equation 3 and the right hand side of this new equation 4 would be equal to will be equal to each other and so we would have to, but we have to of course divide the left hand side uh, of 4 by minus alpha 2, okay? So if we do that, we get um, the equation 4 becomes minus c cosine kl plus k times c over alpha sine kl, and this is now equal to f e to the minus alpha l, and as I said, these two things are now equal to each other, as I've indicated here, okay? And so we can set them, we can set the left hand sides equal to each other, and that's what is going on right here. Right, so you're basically just taking the the number three here, alpha over k c times sine k l plus c times cosine k l, and you're equating that to this rewritten equa uh, equation four minus c cosine k l plus k over alpha c sine k l. Now, if we basically uh, group the terms that have cosines and the groups and the terms that have sines, we this equation uh, reduces to this one, and now if we divide uh, uh, both sides by sine of KL, then we get 2 cosine KL over sine KL, which is cotangent KL, is equal to K over alpha minus alpha over K. Okay, so this is, this, it may not be obvious at this point, but in fact, this equation right here um, gives us the condition leading to energy quantization, because K and alpha both depend on E and U naught, Okay, and now we have a now we have a relationship between the length of the box and u naught and e. 